Isaiah 43. But now, O Jacob, listen to the Lord who created you, O Israel, the one who formed you. I chose the hands for this painting because we are reminded that we serve a God who formed us, who shaped us with his very hands. So hands is a symbol of God's presence being here with us. And it continues to say in the verse, Do not be afraid, for I have ransomed you. I have called you by my name. You are mine. When you go through deep waters, I will be with you. When you go through rivers of difficulty, you will not drown. When you walk through the line of fire of the oppression of the oppressor, you will not be burned up. The flames will not consume you, for I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. So in these paintings, we see that there is water, a woman that is standing in the midst of water, and we are reminded that Jesus is there right alongside with her. So when you go through the difficulties of life, be encouraged that your God has never forsaken you. He holds you in his hands, and in his very hands, he still bears the mark of the holes, which he was crucified to redeem us. And we are reminded that we serve a God who is the great I am. He is our healer. He is our hope, our love, our joy, our peace. He is always with us. And he reminds us that he has written our names in the palms of his hands. I am alive forever and ever. And I hold the keys of death and the grave. I am the living one. I am your strength, your light, your redeemer. I am Manatha Strong. Yeah. 
Shem Lagev.